unit commitment, priority list method using full load average production cost, solved problem 2. Create a unit commitment using the priority list method for the following three units. The three unit cost functions are given and the generation limits are given. The power demand is 900 megawatt and the fuel cost data are given. The priority list can be obtained using full load average production cost. The full load average production cost formula FLAPC i is equal to Ki into Fi of PGI divided by PGI where Ki is the fuel cost and the Fi is the fuel cost function Fi of PGI. This PGI is maximum value the power generation at ith unit which is equal to PGI max. In the generation limit we need to select the maximum value to substitute in the fuel cost function in the numerator and in the denominator substitute the maximum value of PGI. Considering the given data solution for unit 1 FLAPC 1 is equal to K1 into F1 of PG1 divided by PG1. So, PG1 is equal to PG1 max 600 and fuel cost K1 is equal to 1.1 substituting that value. In the numerator it is fuel cost function, in the denominator it is PG1 max. So, you will be getting 7.53. Similarly, for unit 2, FLAPC2 is equal to K2 into F2 of PG2 divided by PG2, where PG2 is equal to PG2 max that is equal to 400 and the fuel cost K2 is equal to 1.2. Substituting this value, we will be getting 7.896. Similarly, for the third unit, FLAPC3 equal to K3 into F3 of PG3 divided by PG3, where PG3 equal to PG3 max, that is equal to 200, and the fuel cost K3 is equal to 1. Substituting, you will be getting 7.832. So, FLAPC1 is 7.53, FLAPC2 is 7.896, and FLAPC3 is 7.832. Considering these three values, arrange this FLAPC in ascending order to get the priority list. So, consider this table, arrange FLAPC in the ascending order. So, first 7.53, then the greater value 7.832, then further greater value 7.896. So, 7.53 is first unit, 7.832 is third unit, and 7.896 is second unit. So, the minimum and maximum limit for the corresponding unit number 1 is 150 600 and for 3 is 50 200 and for unit number 2 is 100 and 400. Now we are going to form the combination for the unit commitment. So combination of unit based on the priority. So from the previous table we understood that the first priority is unit number 1, second priority is unit number 3 and third priority is unit number 2. So the first combination of unit is unit number 1, then unit number 3, then unit number 2. So, using this 3 combination, the minimum value will be adding all this 3, we will be getting 300 megawatt and the maximum will be 1200 megawatt. And second combination, leaving the least uh, priority unit 2, considering the remaining 2 units alone, unit 1 and unit 3, minimum uh, limit is 200 and the maximum limit is 800. So, adding the minimum limit of unit 1 and unit 3, you will be getting 200 and 600 plus 200 is 800. And the third combination is leaving the second priority unit 3 and considering the first priority alone unit 1. So, the minimum megawatt is 150 and the maximum megawatt is 600. So, this is the combination of unit in the unit commitment table. Now, using this, we can conclude depending upon the load demand, the units will operate as per this combination. First one, if the load demand is less than 600, it is preferred to operate unit 1 alone. So unit 1, the maximum limit is 600. So, using this unit 1 alone, we can able to supply the load demand up to 600 megawatt. And if the load is between 600 to 800, then we can add one more unit. That unit is unit 3. So, unit 1 and unit 3 can be used to supply the load demand between 600 to 800. And if the load demand is between 800 to 1200, then we need to add one more unit that is unit 2. Unit 1, unit 3 and unit 2 together operates as a combination to supply the load between 800 to 1200. In this problem, the given power demand PD is 900 megawatt. So, for the given load demand, operating unit 1, 3 and 2 is preferable.